Autumn Osborne with TNA Realtors, and this is Enrique Gervalier. Enrique, the Mighty Real Estate Photographer from Picture Listings and more. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys, for joining us this afternoon. We want to start off briefly with Kerbaville. Now, we realize that it is raining outside, so we're just going to give you a brief showing of what we mean in terms of landscaping. If you'll follow us. All right, so to your right, you see that this um, there's mulch that is very plentiful. There's flowers. Um, the curb appeal, there's no doubt that this house has something very inviting for you to come in and take a look. Can you see that? All right, so curb appeal is number one. That's what invites people into the home. Now, I want to um, briefly point out the door before we walk in. Make sure that your door, whichever type of door you may have, make sure it's clean, make sure it's polished. If it needs to be um, uh, uh, buffed and then waxed, please do that with a professional door um, refinishing company. Again, this is not a wood door, but I'm speaking for wood, any type of wood, any type of door that you have, make sure it is clean and polished because again, this is number two in terms of what individuals gonna wanna come in and take a look at the home. All right, follow Enrique and I. All right, so as we go inside the home, we're gonna talk about open curtains and, um, and blinds. Make sure that all curtains are open and all blinds are open because when you have it open like this, you can, um, the, the natural light comes in. Today, it is um, a little rainy, so there's not a lot of sunlight outside, but as you can see, if there were a lot of sunlight, it would be natural. Also, make sure that all light fixtures are on during your real estate photography session. Again, Enrique is a professional real estate photographer who did our photos for our last home, and as you know, pictures are what sell a house. People are online looking, and before they decide they want to schedule an appointment to go to that home, they're looking online and saying, wow, this house is awesome. I want to see this house. So again, pictures sell. So follow us. Um, as I point out, one other thing. Right here, um, I want to talk about personal photographs. We all have family pictures. They're usually on the wall stage, and we do not want um, buyers potential buyers. We don't want them focused on the family photo. We want them focused on the home. So this is the reason you would go with something like this or something like that, this particular mural art photo. Again, no personal photos, take them down. I even had to take down our degrees. Everyone's not a Longhorn. So I don't want them focused on what school I graduated from. I want them to focus on the house. Enrique, would you like to add anything as we move to the kitchen? It, it's it's always important uh, also when you have, uh, make sure you have all the light bulbs, same right. color temperature, mm -hmm. because when we photographers come, um, we turn all the lights on, mm -hmm. uh, blinds, you mentioned that, we open all the windows because the magic it needs to be present. We need to see through the windows, mm -hmm. through the backyard or the front, mm -hmm. the views from inside to outside. Now, the color temperature is very important. The, so if you have a bold, more yellowish than other more white color, it's mm -hmm. important to match them all. That mm -hmm. way it will look better in the Sure, park. sure. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you, Enrique. Let's yes, go to the kitchen. All right, great. Um, now, as we walk into the kitchen, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on what all needs to be done with your kitchen because, of course, ladies, we're going to sweep, we're going to mop, we're going to clear these countertops. And, of course, we would love to stage it with some artificial fruit or the type that's in the bowl over there, the oranges. So those are two things that um, I would like to point out in terms of getting your home ready for it to be listed. What else would you add, it, It's very typical as a realtor, we found houses that they, in the fridge, they have a bunch of <laughs> magnets and stuff. We can, this one is perfect. But okay. uh, we will have to deal as a realtor with the listen, tell your the landlord, listen, you need to remove all this because we need to depower. So make sure you talk to them the day before, listen, Remove all of those magnets from the fridge because they look clutter and it's important. And we ended as a photographer. Hey, can you remove those last minute? But that happens a lot. So exactly. it's cluttered as much as possible. All the areas, fridge, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Keep it clean, mm -hmm. few stuff, and 
Uh, let's get the picture first. Right. <laughs> and this is a case in which less is more. Right, right Enrique? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. All right. So now we're going to head to the backyard and still talk about manicure and presentation and less is more. One of the items that it seems common sense, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um, sweeping the porch would be where you want to get started as well as, um, let me bring you out here to the shrubs. And again, we've got nice black mulch. Whatever your color is, it's fine. If you're into brown mulch, that's fine. Just make sure it's plentiful, it looks rich, and it's inviting. I would love to come, I would love this home, mainly look at the backyard. It sells itself. I don't have to say anything as a realtor. All I have to do is bring my client here, and the home sells itself. And don't be afraid if you have the issue that we have right now, rain. Mm -hmm. Because photographers tend to do some little magic. Mm -hmm. For example, we can replace it with a blue sky. One is now very dark, but we can after a bus production get a blue sky. So normally we can produce nice and bright pictures uh, and replace and put the blue sky when it's still cloudy. So mm -hmm. don't be afraid of that. Uh, of course, if it's pouring and it's a storm, uh, well, probably it's better to reschedule the last session. That's for, correct. For, for, for the best of your time. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, let's remember to um, sweep porches, make sure they're pressure washed, let's trim shrubs, prune trees, and have nice, rich mulch. And if you have brick back here on your landscaping, make sure it's not full of algae. I mean, you want the person to just look at the ambiance of this backyard. That's it. And say, we, we need to get this home. So, right. another point that's important about the backyard, if you have pets, make sure before the photo session, you hire your cage, your water, your cat, everything, because we don't need to show anything related to pets. That's correct. That's, that's incredible. Correct. My people say, I don't want to live in the house, they have a cat, and they hate cats. Or they had six cats. Or have old mm -hmm. dogs, mm -hmm. or, or, or giraffe. I don't know. Yes. So, anything related to pets, please get it out of the other way. <laughs> Because it, it, we're it trying to sell the home. Yes. Okay. Well, come on, Paula, Enrique, and I. We're going to go to the um, to the master bedroom. So again, so far we've talked about lighting and curtains and photos and a clean, clear kitchen. Um, a kitchen. Everything needs to be clutter free. Um, you might have to purchase a storage to hide some of your. Uh, junk or extra items. I call it junk because usually not everything that's in the home, but that can be a lot of clutter. And again, we're trying to sell the home. We're trying to sell the home. So we want them to focus on the home. So we talk about the kitchen and how to make it presentable. No magnets. Make sure the, clean, the kitchen is mopped, swept, and um, there's fruit of some sort, something just to make them feel at home. We've talked about the backyard. Um, so we're doing a great job. All right, come on to the master bedroom. All right, here in the master bedroom, this would seem like common sense, but I have to point it out. You see how this comfor comforter is clean, nice, and pressed, as well as the bed skirt. Let me show you the bed skirt. All right, you see the skirt there? It's all nice and pressed. There's nothing worse than going to a home that you're showing, whether it's resale or it's new construction. But if it's resale, make sure it's pressed. It doesn't have to be this particular um, comforter set, but make sure when Enrique or any real estate photographer comes into your home, the wrinkles are not showing. There's no wrinkles in those things because it will show up in the picture. And one of the things that we are trying to advertise as a realtor, as well as the photographer, we want the master bedroom to shine. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it, the 32% the, the the of, of, of increase the option of selling a property with good professional photographers. So if the, if the door opener for your business, mm -hmm. have a good photo, highlight the property. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it's common sense. We mm -hmm. won't go so hard and watch, oh, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks bright. Mm -hmm. And the truth, sometimes we make, we make them look even more beautiful than mm -hmm. they are. Mm -hmm. It's a little life, but we try to impress and make the people, oh, this house so beautiful. Let's mm -hmm. go see it. So it's important to invest a little in the marketing mm -hmm. and get good pictures because 32%, mm -hmm. that's a statistic, help increase your, your selling options with good pictures. So why not? Pay attention to those details. Absolutely. And again, as you can see in this bedroom, the uh, curtains are open and the 
um, the blinds will need to be open as well. And again, all light fixtures, this light, those two lamps, and that lamp over there, all of the lights are on. Again, this helps Enrique as he is shooting the master bedroom. He's gonna have his own equipment, but this, this light fixtures, that's what helps. So, um, and again, it's clutter free. So you can go back to living after he gets all of his pictures taken, okay? Come on in the bathroom for a quick second and then we're gonna wrap it up with some questions and answers. It's clutter free in here. Um, the vanity net's okay if you had, uh, uh, I'm sorry, it's okay if you have, um, well, this would need to be put away if you were gonna, if he was doing your photography inside the bathroom, so it could conveniently go there. Um, but these, uh, this decoration and this, simple, clean, nice. Um, on this side, on this side, um, there's a small little um, plant here. It's artificial, but it's cute. Again, we're just trying to do things that make the bathroom clean, clutter-free, and that it will sell. All right, well, now, come on, say, Enrique. Well, we're, we're, of course, visiting a beautiful house. It's actually mm -hmm. um, uh, already a beautiful house, but we, as a realtor, also mm -hmm. deal with people who live in the house or mm -hmm. living 17 years in the house, mm -hmm. and we have a, a bunch of stuff, so it's a very big challenge for us as a realtor mm -hmm. trying to help our uh, uh, the, 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 the seller or sure. uh, to bet sell well, the house. And that's where we come in, Enrique, as a realtor. I'm going to go in beforehand, and when I'm meeting with the customer before I leave, after I've given them their uh, CMA, uh, the Comparative Market Analysis, um, I'm going to also make pointers. I'll point out things that they might want to move um, out of the house in order to get prepared for a photo shoot. So I do that beforehand and then I do it afterwards. Um, so before you come, so that I can see whether, whether or not it's really ready. Does that make sense? It makes sense. Yeah. And, and, and the truth is some, there are some professionals mm -hmm. like you, a uh, realtor that uh, they're extremely aggressive and, mm -hmm. and manage to convince the client that we need to pay somebody to stay at your house. Mm -hmm. And they, they manage to do it. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it's complicated. You get confident with your client, but it's, mm -hmm. listen, that chair doesn't look too good in your house. Oh, it's, mm -hmm. it's my mom's chair. I mean, mm -hmm. yes, okay, so yes. it's very, we have a stager, a third party person, mm -hmm. who is not my friend, it's not the person that I'm mm -hmm. confident with my real chair, mm -hmm. telling me that chair needs to be out from mm -hmm. the picture. Mm -hmm. So it's a good idea if you're trying to impress and get a good, uh, warm feeling for your property, get a stager before you do the photo mm -hmm. sessions to give you some advice on what you can do to mm -hmm. fix or arrange or declare your house. Exactly. Absolutely. And then I also wanted to point out, Enrique, today's session is not just for sellers. If there's anyone on this um, this Facebook Live, it's for buyers. <clears throat> because if someone's buying, excuse me, right now, they're going to be selling five to ten years from now. So this information is very okay. helpful to them right now as they buy and make a purchase so that later they will know what it is. I mean, we can give them a refresher later, but this this particular um, tips and pointers staging um, for listing, it's for everybody, yeah. not just not just sellers. Makes sense. All right, well, at this time, we appreciate your time and attention. We're gonna open it up for Q&A. Um, if you would, just um, type what your question is and um, we'll take first three to four questions and we'll be happy to answer them now. Now, before we do that, I wanna make sure that you understand these are not all the pointers and tips that you need to get um, your home listed. Enrique and I can provide you with additional information, of course, no charge, but because our session is one that needs to be condensed, there's additional information that we do have to share as it relates to getting your home ready for a listing. This is just a snippet um, a small glimpse of what you should be doing, but there's a whole lot more that goes into getting prepared. Questions and answers? I'll give you a few minutes. Okay, we're gonna go have a seat over here while we wait for those questions. <coughs> All right, do you have any questions? Um, and by the way, uh -huh. my, my website is picturesandlistingsandmore.com. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. where you find my website, so you can find my all the services that I provide. It's video tour, aerial, yes. uh, everything related to photography. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, they're very common lately with the COVID, the video tour. I've been very busy doing video tours of yes. the properties for yes. that reason. Uh, 
Uh, yes, um, I'm happy to help and assist anybody uh, with any needs in real estate photography. Great, so. great. And I just wanted to ask, in reference to in reference to what Enrique was saying, it is a very busy time for virtual um, tours as well as um, photography. His packages are very reasonable. Most people think, oh no, I can't afford to get photos taken from my listing. Um, depending upon um, wh where your home is uh, and the size of your home, etc., I would be willing to um, take care of that as your realtor um, if I'm listing your home. So if, if you do it on your own outside of me and you haven't chosen me as a realtor, Enrique does have some very affordable packages. Now, if you choose me, of course, I'm very happy to work with you and I'm very happy to provide you with assistance and pay for those photos. So you have options. Photography is what sells your home. And if you want your home to be sell sold, you want the best pictures to represent what you have to offer. Any questions in, in Q&A? We're, we're back. Do you see anything there? What is the lead time for the photographer and how long is the photography session? Oh, okay. But I normally my turn around the same day. So if I schedule something in the morning, I normally deliver the pictures in the evening. Uh, that's my turn around two hours. Mm -hmm. uh, but normally it's same day, same day production. Absolutely. And we are, it's, we've experienced that. So that information is true. Um, now, of course, because, of our, uh, because I'm clients. solo, for now I'm mm -hmm. a solo owner of my company. So mm -hmm. if I'm booked already, have three or four sessions, mm -hmm. might be delivering the pictures like 11 p.m. tonight because mm -hmm. after four or five, I just, Go back home and start editing and send me to, mm -hmm. to different realtors with palettes. But or I'm, it could be for some reason that I'm busy that week uh, and I cannot. But mm -hmm. mostly when I do take the session, I deliver the same pictures. Absolutely great. Thank you. What other questions? Once you have become the realtor, mm -hmm. how soon before you stage the house? Okay, great. So um, if I'm hired as your realtor, of course, I'm coming in to discuss with you what your, uh, the price for your home, you know, we do discuss what I'm, how much I'm going to list the home for. Then um, in terms of uh, photography, once we've got our contract in place, and my next step would be to bring in the photographer. So it's really based on the client. How quickly can they get their house organized, cleaned, and decluttered for the photos? So if they're in a larger house and it's going to take them a few days to uh, before the photography session is scheduled, I'll get it scheduled four or five days out. If they're in a smaller to mid-sized home and they can get it done in a day or two, it's all based on their availability and um, how soon um, I can reach out to Enrique to get the photo session scheduled. So it's really predicated on the sellers that I'm working with what their schedule is. And I have a, a small suggestion about the, the photo. Sometimes you got to be early from the client. Listen, I need to have my house already in the market right away, but we don't have the photographer. Oh, let's get some picture from my phone, but then we switch mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. No, no, <laughs> people check That's every you know. day online. Every on day. So if you pop your house on heart mm -hmm. and it's brand new, mm -hmm. That people will see it, and you, if the first impression is not very bright or feeling house, kind of dark, it doesn't look too bright. They're not coming back to They're not coming thing. back again. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have no pictures now. Probably they already passed the house. So don't make that mistake. Or mm -hmm. have a few pictures now. Just wait a couple of days and get your professional pictures done. That will help you and your clients. Yes, uh, absolutely, Enrique. I just wanted to add to that. Um, there's nothing worse than just list my home, just list it with no photo. No, when shoppers are shopping and they're looking and there's no photo there, they're steady shopping. So it is a, a, you only get one chance to get it right. And then as far as just getting a few photos on your iPhone or a few photos with um, daddy's camera, no. We're going to, when we step out with that house and it's ready to be sold, first impression is the lasting impression. So when I click that button, we're live. And when we're live, I, I may add one additional photo later, but I, I have all the photos I need to be able to sell that home. So, great question, thank you. And, and what uh, uh, it's important about the CMA that she's gonna present you is you are, uh, you are a potential buyer or seller and you're looking for her services. It's important the comparative market analysis that will, will give you the exact, exact pricing of the houses being sold around mm -hmm. the nation. Mm -hmm. Because you as a potential 
viewer houses, you can see how much are listed, are, are listed in the house. Mm -hmm. But what realtors can see, only realtors can see, is how much the house is being sold. Mm -hmm. Based on that information, it can they can prepare the comparative mar market analysis, the CMA, so she mm -hmm. can give you the correct prices, mm -hmm. price for your house. So it's a very important. It's keep very, very, very important. I think it, from the very beginning, people made the mistake of not pricing correctly a house. Mm -hmm. They lose the best three or four potential clients yes, from correct. the very beginning. That's correct. All right. I think the last question. What are the challenges with staging that you face with some of your customers, mm -hmm. and how do you overcome those challenges with them? Okay. Could they give me an example of what type of, um, what the person did or did not do so that I can speak directly? I would say similar to what Enrique said earlier. Mm -hmm. This is my grandma's oh, my chair, oh, okay. and I don't want to move it. Okay, great. Thank you. So, um, challenges. Um, normally, because the clients that I work with, they they see us. We are the expert. So, if they really want to sell, I would just tell them it's just for the photo first, and then secondly, when someone comes to when there's an actual sh showing. Let's say we remove the chair and we put it in the garage so that we can get the photos done. Um, when they're ready to come back in the house and we're gone and they get ready to have dinner and go back to their regular life, they bring the chair back in. Same thing when buyers come to show the house. They have a chance to remove the chair out and then put it back in. So that's one option you can take in terms of hold it on the grandma's chair that's in the master bedroom that may not, you know, really the ambiance, it takes away from the ambiance in the room, okay? And then some people may even say, well, I want to sell, but I don't have any money. I don't have, I cannot do a thorough painting throughout the home or, I, you know, the carpet. I know it needs to be replaced. Well, the company that I work for, there is a program that they offer where we can go in and actually do the painting for your house, do your flooring, do whatever it is that needs to be done. And then those proceeds will come out of your closing costs if you don't have the money up front. So that's an option. Don't worry about what you don't have. These are things that can be discussed with me as your realtor, and there's a solution for every problem. Remember, anybody who's making the big decision of buying a property, they, they're trying to spend the less, less money possible after mm -hmm. they move into the house. Mm -hmm. So if you find those solutions before, fixing, cleaning, painting, you know, repair little stuff mm -hmm. that might cost you some money, mm -hmm. but people will decide, okay, this house is ready to move in. It's a very important step mm -hmm. because, okay, and then you need, we need to, we make, the realtors make a lot of effort trying to convince people like you, listen, try to make the house appealing to you. You're, you will get the best for, price for your house. Mm -hmm. But just make the effort because people, when they buy a house, mm -hmm. they don't want to do more investment. They don't That's want to correct. move to the house, but mm -hmm. I need to change the floor, I need to change the carpet, I need mm -hmm. to repaint the house, I need mm -hmm. to that change the closet. That window needs to be over here. No, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's a lot of investment, so, uh, so uh, that's mm -hmm. the part, right? All right, well good. Okay. One more question out there? No? Okay, so again, I'm Autumn Osborne, CNA Realtor. If you have additional information that you'd like to receive in reference to um, staging your home before a listing, please email me or text me. Let me give you my phone number so you can send a text. 832-287-5967 or you can email me at autumn.s like simon dot osborne at gmail.com Enrique, your yeah. contact information yeah. Enrique Del Valle my direct line phone number is 281-541-0873 that's my phone number okay. and if for any reason you didn't get Enrique's information I have it so um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, stay tuned for our next episode. I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be, but it will be coming to your Facebook page soon. Thank you.